Hi everyone and welcome back to another Lawn Fawn video. This is Mindy Egan. Today I'm going to be making a swish and pop card using the new Scoot and Buy stamp set and my little rabbit's going to be popping a little wheelie today. Here's a quick look at some of the supplies I'll be using. This is the new Scoot and Buy stamp set. I'm going to use the Slimline Grassy Hillside Stencil and Slimline Cloudy Stencil. I'll also be using the Simple Road Border here and I also have the mushroom border. I mainly just wanted that piece of grass. So any grassy hillside die would work. And then the swish and pop die set. As for inks, I'll be using Lawn Fawn inks today, including Celery Stick, Jalapeno, Noble Fur, Mermaid, and Jet Black ink. So I'm going to start off with some quick Copic coloring because I really want to focus on the interactive portion of the card. I'll have all of the colors listed at the top of the screen for you. Starting with my Fox, I'm using E18, E19, 08, and E97. I'm keeping the darkest area or my shadow areas to the right side of the Fox so that the highlight area is on the left. So kind of like he's riding toward the light source. Then I have R20 and R22 for the ears, W3 and W1 for the belly, face, and tail. And for one of my scooters, I'm using BG49 and 45. And I have N6 and N4 for the handlebars. For my little bunny, I'm using E47, 44, 43, and 42. So this little guy is going to be coming from the other side of the card. So I'm keeping the shadow area on the left hand side this time so opposite of my fox and the light source or the lightest area is going to be on the right hand side now for my bunny's scooter i'm going to use r22 and r27 and then i have some little horns here that i'm going to add to my scooters and i'll be using y13 and y19 then i'll take the coordinating dies for each of these align them up over my images I'm going to hold them in place with some low tack tape or you can use some post-it tape and run these through my die cut machine. To set the scene for my card, I'm taking the slimline grassy hillside stencil and I'm holding it in place on my cardstock from behind using some low tack tape and then I'm ink blending on some celery stick ink. I don't need to go all the way down the card because most of that's going to get covered up. This is just kind of setting the scene for my background and then I'm going to remove that stencil line up the other side over the ink blended area hold that in place with that low tack tape and then flip this back over and i'm going to bring in the slimline cloudy stencil and i use a uh, post-it taper washi tape to hold those in place as well then i'm going to take the blending brush and i'm going to ink blend on mermaid ink from lawn fawn once I have that first layer done, I remove that and flip my stencil for the other side, blend on another layer of clouds. And I thought I would have room to do one more, but it turns out I didn't. So after I remove this, I'm just going to take some of that mermaid ink and blend up from the grass. So starting kind of on that grassy stencil and blending up just to add a little bit of color to that bottom portion there. After this is all blended, I can carefully remove that stencil and then I'll also remove any of that tape that I have holding that in place. And this is pretty much the scene set for my card. Next, I have some pieces already pre-cut here. So I have the grassy border die cut from cilantro and I have the simple road border die cut from black licorice and sunflower cardstock. I can go ahead and get my road glued together. So I'm just adding some liquid glue to the back of that and adding that onto my sunflower cardstock. So this piece will be ready to go for me. Now I do want to add just a little bit more color to my grass. So I am going to be taking Noble Fur and I'm starting at the bottom, working my way up. I'm still keeping that cilantro color at the very top of the grass. And then I'm going to bring in Noble Fur and add that to the very bottom and just blend up. So I kind of have three different colors transitioning throughout that grass. Now off screen, I did go ahead and kind of play around with how my card was going to lay out. So once I know where that's all going to be, I'm going to stamp my sentiment right away before I forget. So this is just the Scoot and Buy to Say sentiment off of the Scoot and Buy stamp set. And I'm using my Misty tool to stamp that in black licorice ink. And now on to actually putting my card together. Now I know my grass is going to overlap my road, so I'm gonna go ahead and get those attached. I added a little bit of liquid glue to the bottom of my road. I'm gonna line that up about where I want my card or my road to be on my card, and then I can attach that grass to the road. 
Once I know where that is, I'm going to kind of hold that real careful with my hands, flip it over and trim off any excess so that everything lines up really good. And once that's all done, I'm going to start bringing in my pieces from my Swish and Pop interactive die, starting with the piece that looks like an L. So it has those holes in the side there and I'm lining this up just on the front so I know about where I want it all to go or how it's going to line up from the front of the card but I'm going to remove that and then I can have this it's going to be underneath so hidden by that grass once that placement is where I want it to go I'm going to die cut that by holding it in place with some low tack tape and now I have my mechanisms a die cut from white cardstock and that other piece of die cut from acetate so I lined up one of the brads push that through the white piece and then through that first hole on the right hand side of the acetate piece and then I can add that second brad on the left hand side and I can pop that through anywhere I want in any one of those holes this is about where I want it to go so I'm going to go ahead and just open up that brad on the back of the card now that my mechanism in place and it's working properly I'm going to bring in my little bunny on the scooter because he's going to be popping the wheelie lining up about where it's going to go and I don't want it to go all the way across I don't want the full range of motion on here so I'm going to add a little foam square as a stopper so that's kind of my starting point so this is where the rabbit is going to start it's going to look like the rabbit is just scooting along on the road then I can bring in my grass now I already know that I'm going to have to pop up my grass so my rabbit is going to have to be uh, popped up just a little bit more so I cut a few pieces or a few strips of foam tape and I'm adding this is two layers and then I realized I needed it to pop up just a little bit more so I'm going to add one more foam strip so I have three layers of foam strip it sounds like a lot but it's really not that bad after I have all my foam on there I'll release the backing and I can add my rabbit or bunny I seem to interchange those words quite a bit I can add my bunny right onto that foam strip and I love how this image is fairly big so it's completely covering all of that foam and then I always kind of play with this and test it out constantly to make sure it's not running into anything now the bottom is moving but that's only because I don't have this glued down yet okay so funny story for you I in the process of making this card on camera lost the piece that goes on this edge to cut out the notch for your pull tab so I had to improvise a little bit there is a piece designed specifically for this but since I couldn't find mine buried on my desk I'm using this little tab from the let's toast pull tab so the opening is a little bit bigger I had to make a few adjustments but I, I just could not find it in my stack of cardstock all over my table so I'm improvising a little bit now I'm going to add a quick sentiment to the bottom of this so I prepped my cardstock with that anti-static powder tool and I'm stamping my have a happy day in embossing ink on the very bottom I want to make sure I'm getting this done first because I will be adding foam tape to the back of this then I'm sprinkling on the Lawn Fawn white embossing powder, tapping off any of the excess, and then I'm going to melt that with my heat tool so this bright white sentiment really pops. Now since this opening seems to be just a little bit bigger than what the die actually cuts, I'm going to add a little bit of, I think this was jalapeno ink, right underneath where my pull tab's going to be, just to kind of help blend that in a little bit better and make it a little more disguised. Then I added foam tape onto my card front and also onto my grass piece, just making sure none of it is in the way of my uh, swish and pop pull tab. I had also made sure that I moved my bunny about where I wanted it to stop and added a stopper behind that piece too. I don't want that full range of motion. I just want it to kind of pop a little wheelie. And then I'm gonna pull it all the way over. So to my starting point, trim off that excess from the pull tab and then I'm adding this little die cut piece from cilantro cardstock that's going to kind of just signify to pull that out so that my recipient knows that there's something going on there and so I can test this out pull it everything is working my bunny is not running into anything and then I could start working on my card now as I as I found my fox I found the piece that actually was supposed to die cut your tab so it works similar it's just that there's two little arrows on there to help line up your pull tab uh, when you pull it out so did find my piece thankfully I didn't lose it but I just had to leave it in there because I was way too far into this card to start completely all over and tear my desk apart 
in the meantime here, I did take my Fox and added it to the scooter and then added it to the front of the card with foam tape. I'm trimming off any of that excess acetate from behind my bunny so you don't see anything. Testing that out. And there is a sentiment on this Scoot and Buy stamp set that says wheelie, which is actually what inspired me to create this card and have it pop a wheelie. So I thought it would just be really cute to put that little word there instead of in a sentiment, which is, I think, where it was designed to go. So I'm taking a little piece of acetate. I added a dab of liquid glue so I could glue that behind my scooter. And then I have an itty bitty speech bubble here that I found on a bug deal stamp set. And I stamped wheelie in that uh, speech bubble and then added that with that acetate. So I love this. It was so cute for my little bunny to be popping a wheelie. Now this panel I had earlier trimmed down to uh, four by five and a quarter. So I'm adding it to a fog card base cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. Then I just finished it off by adding a few of those hearts right behind the scooter. So there is a My Swish and Pop card using the Scoot and Buy stamp set. I love this little bunny popping a wheelie on the road. I think that was so cute. And this is such a cute stamp set. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you again soon. 